Alright, yeah, it's been a little bit and uh, we're going to uh, work on the Ford again today. And last time we had this out, me and Mike and a little dirt bike took it for a ride and, and it was uh, bucking and pissing and farting and everything else. And uh, Mike seemed to think it might be the accelerator pump. So uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to rebuild the whole thing. Instead of, I was going to replace it with a holly because I have a spare holly, but uh, I think I'm just going to re rebuild that. Uh, a couple guys mentioned in the last video, you know, they said they think it's a, a motorcraft or an auto light or something. And, you know, all the auto lights and the motorcrafts I've seen had names on them. Uh, I can't find a name on this anywhere. I might find it once I take it off, but uh, right now, you know, it might just be a... A Chinese uh, reproduction or something so uh, a couple guys gave me uh, like I say they, they said that they thought it was a, a motocraft or an auto light and uh, there's only a, a couple of different two barrels they made so I picked up a a kit here and uh, hopefully it's it's the right one or one that will work it says it's uh, made in the USA and on the side it says Ported from Mexico. You guys are probably having a tough time with a light here in focusing. Here we go. Yeah. So then you so you know imported by Mexico. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, they they word these things so differently. You know. But uh, you got no choice. You got you got to take what you can find. So uh, so we're going to do that. And uh, the reason I, I I turned the camera on here is so I can uh, videotape and see how it goes back together. It looks like it's only four bolts. And we got. Uh, got three springs here one holding that one holding that just looks like any way to pull it back and we got the gas line going in the front this is all for me and we got an electric choke over here one wired electric choke and then you got a vacuum hose down here looks like it goes to the distributor and that's it like I said gas line up there I think I, I do see a, a vacuum hose in the back, but uh, we'll figure that out. But for now, uh, we'll go with that. All right, we'll see you guys in there on the bench. All right, I got it all unbolted and uh, everything's disconnected, so let's take it off, see what's going on under here. Uh, huh. Okay. Looks like we got a big, some kind of big, where can I put this? Put this over on the fender. It's almost like a big fiber phenolic or something. Over a quarter inch spacer there. And then under that, looks like, looks like a regular gasket. I'll have to get a razor blade and take that off. Oh, sorry about that. All right. Let me get a razor blade and uh, we'll cover them uh, holes up. All right, we'll see you inside. All right. Yeah, we opened this kit up and uh, it seems to have uh, what we want. I don't know how deep we're going to go into this. You know, like uh, this uh, choke assembly, this this was working perfect. So, I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I want to mess with that yet. You know, I just want to mess with the accelerator pump and the jets and, you know, clean this thing up. But the first thing I notice is... This uh, phenolic piece that I took off here, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it's going to focus in. Let me put it in here see if it focuses in. But right there it says FRT up. I guess that means front and up. And that was down, right? This was up to, this was, uh, this side was up to the carburetor. And, and on a new one it says that too. Front and up. So they don't uh, they don't put stuff on there for nothing, you know. They, they don't uh, go through all that machinery to have that lettering put on there for no reason. So it looks like it can go either way, but uh, you know, like I say, they they put that on there for for a reason. So like I said, we'll, we'll change all the jets, and there's plenty of them. And this here, I think, is your accelerator pump right here goes in there. Same with that. And uh, we got two gaskets. That's for your uh, choke. And 
a lot of stuff here. So uh, this this is probably what our problem is. So uh, all right, let's start taking it apart. Like I said, I'm gonna for right now I'm gonna leave the side on. So we'll just uh, take this this off and uh, and the top off and see what we got and start cleaning. All right. Let me pull the chair. We got my screwdriver ready. Got a bucket for the big parts and a little thing for the small parts. So uh, I guess for now, let's try and take. I'll probably get in and out of the frame a couple different times. Oh, there we go. I don't know you can see that. I'm just disconnecting this uh, this linkage here. Looks like it should pull right out now. There we go. Alright. Go through our accelerator pump. Let's get that out of there. That's four bolts. Four screws. I should say screws, right? The only little screws. And then this here is some kind of spring assembly. I don't know if that's all attached or not. Guys, keep your eye up in case you see something fall. Let me know. I say we never have one of these apart. Both the screws look all the same size. Oh, here we go. See, it's all spring loaded, so gotta make sure we put that back on right. Pretty good. Uh, let, me, let me get something to get that off. I'll be back. All right. I got that off. This was just uh, screwed on to there. It was just stuck. You know, I got a little screwdriver in there and just popped it off. And uh, here's the new one that goes on. I didn't take this off yet, but. Uh, I already seen something here that's uh, we don't have in the kit. It's a uh, little little rubber diaphragm or something. This seems to be in pretty good shape. So uh, even though I would rather have replaced it, you paid uh, 25, 30 bucks for a kit. You think uh, they would replace this this rubber or neoprene, whatever it is? Looks like it just sticks in that hole, and then. Uh, this will go on. This will go on like that. So, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it's all right. All right, let's uh, continue on. Like I said, I'm not putting anything on yet. We're gonna take it all apart and then clean it. Matter of fact, we'll take that out. Put that in our little thing there. All right, we'll take, keep taking it apart. All right. There's like a little sump on the bottom here. We'll take that off. It did. The, the side piece did have a spring on here too, and that's not that's not in a rebuild kit. Like I said, I got a Ford rebuild kit, and this this has no name on it, so we just have to reuse that too. All right, let's. Uh, you know what? Take these jets out. Wow, pretty tight. I'll go and take them out. I got a better screwdriver. All right, let's try and take this off. Same screws that the accelerator pump is held on with. You guys see? See, they got these little little tabs on the side here, you know, and they're meant to, uh, you know, like pry that off. I'm getting a little fuel out of there. All right, take it off gently so uh, there are no springs. And that's pretty cruddy. 
right? We have one of these. So, uh, all right, let me get a better. Why well, this screw? I don't know if you guys can see this screw is uh, nice and loose. This one here is, uh, like I say, pretty tight. I got, I got, I got new screws with the kit, but uh, let me get a better screwdriver, sharper screwdriver. Don't go away. All right, got us a brand new vessel here. Nice sharp tip on it too. So I'm gonna screw that in. The instructions. I got to download some instructions. Okay, so that's one, two, wow, three, three and a half. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go by whatever uh, the instructions say, but uh, at least we know where it was at. It's a long screw there, buddy. See, this one's pretty loose, huh? One, two, three, four. Wow. Five. Wow. Five and a half. That one's five and a half turns. Get a wrench, to take that off. All right, that looks like an inch. No, that wasn't tight at all. Jumps out at us. Wow. Whatever this is looks adjustable in the replacement one. This gasket looks a little messed up, but uh, hmm. Yeah, the newer one uh, wasn't adjustable like this one, so. Alright, let's. Uh, Take the top off. The top is only six screws. You got two here, two on both sides, and the two over here. So let me take them off. And I'll turn you back on. Alright, I got the six bolts holding the top on. Now I think he's got to take his linkage off here. And this looks like it uh, screws off here. Oops, what was that? See what we got here. Watch him not jumps out at us. All these screws look like the same length. All right. Does look like it could use a good cleaning. Hmm. All right. That goes there. Here's your float bowl. Couple jets. All right, I'm gonna look at it over, and then uh, turn it back on so I know what I'm doing. All right, I'll take the float out. It looks like I thought I thought I just had, had to pull out on it, but it looks like there might be a little clip in here. Get that out of the way. There we go. That looks like it should come out. There we go. A little damaged over here, but 
might just be the way it was made. Okay. A couple of a couple of jets down there. And this for the float bowl. I did see these. Hmm. I don't know if they go down here or not. But you know what I did notice? And this is probably what, what kept this thing from running properly. You guys looking? Remember I told you I said this little rubber thing in there? It was just sticking like that? Well, when I took the top off and looked in here earlier, I found this little rubber titty. I don't know how well you can see it. But it's the other end of this. So when you push this in there, you can get it from behind and it's supposed to it's supposed to pull that tight. And apparently that probably wasn't working, so don't know what it does, but uh that's the only part in this his kit that, that didn't come with the kit. Like I say, these here are two uh look like the uh, same number and everything fuel shutoffs. So, you know what, while I'm here, let's take this out. I got one screw here. Let's see if we have that. Okay, that's some kind of jet. It looks like there's a some kind of jet that floats in there. There we go. And a ball baron. Good thing I caught that. Okay, I know I didn't see that in this kit. Feels like it's uh, maybe aluminum. Aluminium. Hmm. Okay. Let me take them two jets out on the bottom. And see what's going on there. Yeah, this ain't looking promising. Alright, I'm back. Alright, here's where we're at. I just uh, got off the interwebs. And uh, I downloaded a, a picture of this and the parts. And the part I need didn't come in this kit, you know. But like I say, this this kit was for a moto motocraft or an auto light. And uh, what I got is like a it must be a Chinese clone or something, because like I say, there's no name on it. But uh, this is the part that was bad right here, and even that's different. You know, here it is right here, number number 47. And that's a, a pump inlet check valve. But, uh, like I said, I just got off the interwebs and uh, I was able to buy. They sold these in threes. You know, they, they must have went on the earlier Motocraft or uh, Autolite. You know, and this is, this is a newer kit. So, that probably... That'll probably update it because the pump itself was updated and uh, the accelerator pump. But uh, the one we have should work. So at, uh, without this part, I pretty much wasted my money on this uh, rebuild kit. But uh, hey, you know you don't know. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to clean this up and I can put it all back together. Because the uh, fuel pump you can get on afterwards after everything's all back together. So. Uh, it's going to take uh, five, six, seven days maybe to get that part. So that'll give me plenty of time to clean this. So I don't know. I'm going to see you guys next, but uh, that's where we're at. I'm going to have to reuse all the needle jets because uh, this kit didn't come with any. So uh, hey, such is life, right? All right. We'll see you when I get the this thing back together. All right. Well, yeah, I forgot to mention. See this little uh, piece of rubber? You know, the rubber's in good shape and everything. And uh, the place I ordered it from, and they're all the same price, most of, most of the people had them. And they, they sold them, we're going to get three of them. So it must be a, a common problem. But it was uh, five dollars for three of them, so it was about a buck fifty a piece. And four dollars for shipping. So it's going to cost us ten dollars for that. And this whole kit costs uh, twenty-five, so. That little, that little part there, 
almost cost half of the the whole rebuild. So here you go. All right. So here's one there when we get it all cleaned up and ready to put back together. All right. It's been about uh, three or four days now, and uh, I think when I left you off, I was going to order these these parts here, and uh, got three of them. They sent three of them in a bag. Four ninety five for three of them, so that's about a uh, buck sixty five a piece. I think earlier I said a dollar fifty, so I figured I'd correct that. But anyway, uh, I cleaned this up, and it's it's cleaned up nice. Where you at? Let me move you up here. Yes, uh, it's cleaned up real nice. And even this, the screw, you take your screw out, and then this whole assembly comes out, so you can clean that real thorough, you know, and there are a lot of little jets in there. And they were all pretty clean. So, uh, I put the jets in, adjusted that, uh, according to the instructions there, they say you screw it all in and then back them out, uh, one and a half to two. So I got them backed out at two. And I uh, put this, uh, I don't know what this uh, sump is. There was something in the bottom there. I put that in there, and uh, now I guess uh, I guess we'll put this little piece in. It's funny, this little piece is a dollar sixty-five. Yet if you had to go to the gas station and have somebody uh, fix this, a service station, it would have cost a couple hundred bucks. You know, because the guy's going to charge you a hundred dollars an hour, and then he's probably going to take the carburetor off and send it out, have it rebuilt. So it probably would cost four or five hundred bucks to have this fixed if you didn't do it yourself. So hopefully that's the problem. All right, the instructions say to uh, put a little oil on this thing. You know, everybody says, "Oh, you're not supposed to put oil on rubber and everything." This this stuff is silicone rubber. And anything that has to do with gasoline or oil is usually a neoprene, so it doesn't, uh, that, that isn't going to affect us. Right, let me turn it around here. Stick this in a little hole. And it's got a little tail on it. You pull from the back. There you go. Just that easy. And then it says cut off the tail. A pair of needle nose. And that's what we did. All right, look at that. Hopefully that was a problem, right? This whole big operation just for a little piece of rubber. I put a new uh, seat in there. Stick that in there. Alright, the only thing that holds that in is this little spring. Here we go. They give you instructions on how to adjust that, but we're going to leave it right where it was because we weren't having any problem with that. So, uh, turn this around so you guys could see it. Is our accelerator pump. I took this off. The newer one's a little different. It's a two piece instead of just this one piece. It's, uh, they got this little piece here, goes in there. And then that. These stages up here. Before we put that in, we got to put this little spring in. All right. And let me see how this goes. All right, it's going to take a little uh, finagling, so uh, let me shut you off so I can sit down, relax, and uh, don't have to worry about shooting that spring across the garage. All right, yeah, we got that in there, and it uh, seems to be working fine. Let me see it. Push the accelerator pump in. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but. Uh, when I, last time I was working on this was a Friday, and it was it was the afternoon, Friday afternoon, and I went in our air in the, in the interwebs and, and got on eBay, tried to find these these little umbrella valves, and ordered it. So I ordered it Friday afternoon, and it said it wouldn't come till next Thursday. You know, like a week, almost a week. So uh, 
kind of kind of depressed me because I wanted to get this thing back together. But you know what are you gonna do? And uh, I ordered it Friday, and then I got it on Monday morning. You know, like nine o'clock in the morning. So I want to thank these. It's called the Mountain Mountain Man Carburetor Rebuilder. He's probably never gonna see this. Mountain Man Carburetor Rebuilder and Fuel Injections. Owners Ted Ardell, Ted and Ardell Lowe. So. Uh, Got to thank them for uh, that's that's good service there. That's 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 almost like two days, right? You figure they put it they put it in the mail maybe Friday afternoon, and it and it came from where did it come from? Arkansas, Arkansas, New Jersey, and uh, so Saturday and Sunday. You know the, the mail travels on Sundays, but you know it's not delivered on Sundays. So uh, traveled Saturday and Sunday and was here bright and early nine o'clock on Monday morning, and that's what it is right now. It's Monday. So uh, I gotta thank them. Good service, you know. And it didn't have to be that way because they, they told you right up front it's gonna take a week, but uh, it didn't. So uh, all we gotta do now is uh, just find the right car, right the gasket to go on top here. You got in view, and it doesn't look like it because it has this big thing hanging out. But uh, I think this is the one that goes on there. And the one that came off actually had that big thing hanging out too. Where you at? Over here? There you go. Yeah. Had this big square. Don't know what it's for. But there is one here without it. And uh, the holes just don't line up like over here. Hmm. Maybe that would work. No? Well. No, nah, I'm gonna go with this one. This is the one that came. This is the identical one that came off. So we'll go with that one. All right. So all I gotta do is put that on, and then uh, gotta go out and put this on, on the truck. So uh, all right, we'll do that and probably see you out the truck. All right. Yeah, it's another day, and uh, I just got done bolting this thing up. And hooking everything up, the gas and stuff. So uh, let's give it a whirl. Get the key here. Got electronic fuel pump, so we're gonna let it uh, fill that bowl up a little bit. Make sure everything's out of the way. Sometimes you leave stuff in the bay. You hear a little clicking there? That's our electronic fuel pump down there. Hmm. You usually hear when, it, when uh, it, it fills up. It's just starting it loud, so... Uh, they should have enough in there. It's carburetor, so you gotta pump it up. A few pumps here. Hmm. Sounds better already. Sorry about the camera work, but uh, I'm the only one here. In fact, I'm gonna put your mother hand here so we can uh, goose this up a little bit. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. And it's not even warmed up. It's a nice day out, 75 degrees, but uh, not even warmed up. All right, so that sounds good. No hesitation, no nothing. All it was was a little uh, dollar sixty-five uh, rubber valve in there, and you could. If I knew exactly what that was, I could have just taken this out and, and instead of rebuilding the whole thing, but I'm glad I took it apart and replaced everything, so. All right, so there we go. We should have a good run. I'm not even gonna take it for a test run. I'll wait for the, the boys to get here. Take one of them with me in case it breaks down. Got somebody to keep me company, but I don't think it will, so. What do you guys say, enough of this? All right, we'll see you in the next one.